Hey friends, our brains fail us sometimes, don't they? Often enough, probably, they fail us. I'm 44 years old and already I am noticing it. There's been times, probably two or three times even in the last couple of weeks where I have moved from one room to another room in the house to do something or to get something and by the time I get there, I've completely forgotten what it was I was gonna do or what it was I was gonna get. And I have to go back to the previous room to remember what it was and then uh, go and do it. Maybe you've had that happen to yourself too. Um, other things, you know, things we've practiced for, for years, decades maybe even. And, and they just, and sometimes it just, they, they turn into this long pause, this, oh, what was I gonna do, you know, a scratch of the head. And, um, and Peter, the Apostle Peter, he gets that about us, uh, especially when it comes to spiritual practices. Um, the Apostle Peter, he says, he says this in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 12. He says, so I will always remind you of these things, even though you know them and are firmly established in the truth you now have. Peter has something in mind that he is going to make sure and remind us of. Later on, he actually says, I will make every effort to see that after my departure, you will always be able to remember these things. What are these things? What is, help me out here, Peter, a little bit. I forgot what these things are. So if you back up in the text, you got to go back to verse 10. Peter says, Therefore, my brothers, be all the more eager to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never fall. So whatever these things are, they guard us, they protect us from falling. Okay, so, but Peter, you need to help us out a little bit more. What are these things? Okay, so let's back up in the text just a little bit further. Chapter one, verse eight, he says, for if you possess these qualities, again, these things, if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now that is fabulous. Whatever these things are, they protect us, they guard us from becoming ineffective and unproductive. So it, it's not just that they, they keep us from stalling out or falling back, they also keep us from, uh, they, they, they promote moving forward, okay? They promote produ productiveness and effectiveness. So what are these things, Peter? Help us out. Give us the answer. What are the qualities? Back all the way up to chapter five. It's Peter's fruit of the Spirit. Paul has his list. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Peter has his list as well. And it says this. Add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if you possess these qualities, these things, these are, these are what Peter's talking about. He wants to remind us of these things again and again and again, because these qualities will keep you, me, us, from being ineffective and unproductive in our knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. How will you put those into practice this week? Think about those um, and don't forget them. If you do, Peter will just remind us of them. Hey, I love you guys. Take care.